Police believe they've cracked the case of a missing woman, and they say the person responsible for her disappearance is close to her. Seven's Alitza Bezios is live in Pompano Beach with some new details. Alitza? Well, you know, this arrest happening over the weekend and just days prior to that is when police got their break in this case. I was standing next to a monster. That so-called monster, a woman who only wants to go by Lisa, says is 54-year-old Ian Lanning, who over the weekend was arrested for his wife's murder. I asked him, I said, what happened? And he just said, uh... My girlfriend, my wife, has been missing for a month. Just days before, Lisa tells 7 News she was talking with Lanning, who told her his wife was missing. He had no emotion about it, none. He wasn't worried. He wasn't, con he showed no concern. He just seemed like a normal guy. It's kind of weird to know you, you, you kind of interacted or knew somebody that actually is charged. According to BSO, 53-year-old Irene Lanning Zaniti was reported missing May 30th by her daughter. And they say two weeks before that, detectives went to the couple's Pompano Beach home along Northeast 23rd Avenue. During that visit, the suspect telling them his wife left the home after an argument and had not been back since. Her disappearance makes absolutely no sense at all whatsoever. Worried for her safety, the victim's family and friends going to social media pleading for help from the public. Her disappearance is now extremely concerning for her family, friends, loved ones, as well as law enforcement at this point. Then on June 8th, a break in the case. Detectives getting a search warrant for the couple's home, where they found evidence suggesting the victim had been killed inside and that her body was dumped in an unknown location. The victim's daughter writing this post on Facebook Sunday. She said in part, Mama, I love you, and went on to say, my heart aches in such an unexplainable way. Lanning is expected to go in front of a judge at some point today. He faces a first-degree murder charge. But now we're live in Pompano Beach. Elisa Bezios today in Florida.